Hiya, welcome to Easy English. So, whilst we wait for our new camera equipment to arrive, we grabbed Easy's iPhone and came up with an idea to show you inside our fridge. But before we show you inside our fridge, if you want to help support Easy English and help us to continue making episodes, then you can become an official Easy English member with this link. So before we get started, it's worth mentioning that one, myself and Easy are both vegetarians, so you're not going to see any meaty products in here. However, you will. <laughs> Easy's parents are currently staying with us, so there will be some meat products in here and there might be a slight German twist. However, all of the products in this fridge are still from British grocery stores. All right, so let's have a look in the fridge. Let's start off in the most boring department of the fridge, the vegetable department. First thing, lemons. Um, we have these lemons because Easy swears by lemon and ginger teas. Uh, lemon and ginger tea should be prescribed by a GP in my opinion because they can hold back any flu or cold that might be incoming. Easy swears by this stuff. Not an eggplant, an aubergine. Touching to the French roots. Um, with this, we'd probably do some like Italian -y thing, like chop it up, fry it, a bit of nice bread, balsamic vinegar. It's a very traditional British dish. <laughs> ah, the best pepper trio combination. Anyone that eats green peppers is mad. You always leave it to last, hoping that it'll go off. <laughs> I was only 33 years old when I realised that there are not singular red orange and yellow pepper plants that they are actually all the same pepper at different stages of ripeness. Did you know that? I didn't. Is it zucchini or is it courgette? It's courgette. We always like to keep in touch with our French roots. We usually combine them with the peppers. Uh, we make Mexican food, we make some pasta bakes, we make some, what do you do, stir fries of these things. There's always something which you have in your in your fridge which you think looks good when you buy it and you sort of never will eat it, but you buy it to make yourself feel better about your uh, your diet. Um, a ginormous bag of spinach. I don't know, yeah. It just usually goes off and throw it away, to be honest. <laughs> no, not really. We also add it to, you know, cream to make ourselves feel better that we're eating double cream with spinach um yeah it's very good very versatile isn't it uh, yeah there's also some carrots um we only would use them for the stir fry uh, but our dog nola loves carrots bananas and carrots are her favorite things uh so we also have in the freezer another bag of carrots that are frozen and some bananas in there too next up we have avocado uh, we love to have this on a weekend morning on some toast with a poached egg or two. Uh, I saw that there's a documentary on Netflix which probably exposes that we should not be buying these. And I should probably watch it face up to reality. So this might be my last ever avocado. Okay, done with the boring aisle. So next up, oh, this is a leftover from last week. A dairy milk pot of joy. Uh, dairy milk is like probably the most popular chocolate company in England. It's very delicious. And yeah, they now make pots of joy, chocolate brownie yogurts or puddings or desserts, whatever you fancy. We have sweet and fruity baby plum tomatoes. These are pretty versatile as well. These go on pretty much all of our dishes, I'd say, to be honest. You can also add it to anything, can't you, tomatoes? Next up is one of our favourites because, um, you know, we like to cook, but we're quite busy people. And if you're hungover or, yeah, you've kind of forgotten to prepare anything, then you can have these nice spinach and ricotta tortellone, tortel, tortellone, tortellonis. Thanks, easy Italian. A very typical British dish, again, obviously. Yeah, these are delicious and, yeah, you just... Could have them on their own, some olive oil, just chuck them in a pot of water, five minutes. And people think you've put loads of effort in, but really you've just forgotten they're coming over and <laughs> resorted to the tortellonis. Egg noodles to go into the wok. These are absolutely amazing. And this that goes with it. These two ingredients with some soy sauce and some sriracha. <sighs> nice and spicy. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, next up. 
butter, enough said. Let's not forget the broccoli. Broccoli is another superfood, right? I think. Is it? Anyone? It's another thing you can add to cream to make yourself feel better about eating an entire cup of cream um, with a bit of pasta. It's delicious. Ah, and to go with the broccoli pasta, here we go. Bangers. They are meat-free bangers um, by Richmond who make real bangers, real sausages, but they've gone into the vegetarian business. Uh, these things are amazing. We swear by these things. Ah, so they now make vegetarian, but also vegan approved black pudding from Bury near Manchester. Now, black pudding is a bit of a controversial um, British ingredient because I think you either love it or you hate it. The real version is, I believe, made of like solidified pig's blood. Maybe this is one for everyone who doesn't really like black pudding but likes a tasty sausage. And you sort of chop this up, fry it, tomato sauce, tomato ketchup. Oh, very delicious. Ooh, could knock out a horse of this. I'm struggling to find much in the British food department. Creme fraiche. Okay, so like, as I said, we have guests. So what's the best thing you can do when you have guests? You can have a buffet or a picnic. We have some corn, which is a vegetarian company. Picnic eggs, which these are like miniature scotch eggs. And scotch eggs are very traditional English kind of snack foods. A bit usually a bit bigger. And inside is uh, like a hard boiled egg. Um, and then like a pig's meat, like minced meat, and then covered around with like a, you can kind of see like a breaded layer. And behind them, garlic stuffed olives, can't go wrong, stuffed peppers. Oh my God, these things are amazing. They're like slightly spicy. So they're supposed to be for sharing, but oh, I find it very hard not to eat the whole pack when I open it. Very good, I really recommend these. You know, as I said, we have some guests over from Germany. So of course we have to have all of the bread. Cheese, Gouda, Gouda, Easy Dutch, help me out. Mature cheddar cheese, selection pack of French cheeses. More cheese. Quite so, right, stinker. Jesus. Ah, oh, more cheese. <laughs> Just when you thought that we'd finish with the cheese, we actually have two packs of mozzarella. Continuing the lack of British ingredients, some Italian beer Moretti beers. We've got some dips, got some sweet chili hummus, one of my faves, tzatziki, sour cream and chive. Oh man, my fridge does not seem very healthy at all, does it? Okay, and now my favorite part of the fridge is the condiments. Okay, we have uh, own brand tomato ketchup. This is an absolute essential of British condiments. Brown sauce. It's like a vinegary kind of ketchup, I'd say, given the royal seal of approval by Her Majesty. And this is a Platinum Jubilee edition. I hope that doesn't mean this is 70 years old. Garlic and herb sauce, soy sauce. This thing's great, sweet chili dip. Last but not least, my favorite, some sriracha sauce. I absolutely love spice and so does easy actually. This stuff goes with absolutely everything from Mexican to Asian. Brilliant. Let's finish on the door. Basically more condiments, whole grain mustard. Uh, you know, when we do like vegetable bakes in the oven, it's always nice to get a bit of this and honey. Capers, when we have our pizza. Ah, oh, the light's just gone in the fridge. Why is that? A load of shit. Some nice marmalade, some nice jam made from my mother-in-law. Here's a favorite of Easy's is the hot horse radish sauce. Easy's a big fan of this. And she also loves um, wasabi. Thank you. <laughs> Branston pickle. Being one of the only British things, I don't even really know what the hell it is. I would have it uh, on to cheese on toast. A nice like layer of it on top of the cheese. Eggs, and then our fresh single cream <laughs> that we uh, mix with our superfoods to make us feel better. Krabby's ginger beer, very, very delicious. From Edinburgh, some half-finished Pinot Grigio. 
and some Chardonnay because the parents are staying over. Anyway, so let us know what you think of our fridge. Are we healthy? I'm not so sure. So if you like this video and you want to support Easy English, then subscribe below. Or if you're feeling really generous, then why don't you become an official Easy English member with the link up here. And we'll see you next week. Ta-ra! Oh my god, almost got stabbed by the knife rack. So we let's have this on our tortoise. So we like to have this on our tortoise. Oh my god.